Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Thursday, and you guys know why I'm here. Why well, I'm down in the barn at the crack of dawn. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's dark and dreary outside. Again, it's icy and wintry. That's okay. I love the days that I have to get up and come down to the barn early. It always makes me awake and alert and alive so much sooner than if I stay up at the house and clean. Well, hello, Sophie girl. <laughs> it's too early. Why are we here so early? Very. Why you got your book? Because I don't have a phone. Because I took away her phone because she kept forgetting to do things yesterday. That's my brain. Yeah. It is your brain, but did you know that you can outsmart your brain? If you are somebody who forgets things all the time, then you can correct that. I have to get the You can correct that by doing it as soon as you think of it. So like I told Sophie three times yesterday to do a few different things. And instead of her waiting to do them and relying on her brain, she could have done them right away. And that's what happens. But when you're not good at remembering, you have to find tricks to help you remember. And that's one of them. And we've talked about that so many times, how if you struggle with remembering, then you have to find tricks to help you remember. So my trick to help Sophie remember is to take away her phone. It sounds mean, but it works, hopefully. Hopefully it's gonna work. Do you guys know that sometimes I get messages from people telling me that I'm not disciplining my kids appropriately? And the weird thing is, is that I don't discipline my kids on camera. Who would do that? I don't think anybody would do that. I only share things that they're comfortable with and I don't shame them. I never ever want to shame them. And I think that that's, I think most parents are the same. So it always confuses me so much when I get messages from people, usually kids, saying that I'm not disciplining my kids properly. The girls are my fourth and fifth babies and I raised them, I raised my first three kids totally traditionally, the way that most people did. And my boys grew up and I hated what, how I raised them. I didn't empower them the way that I empower the girls. So I chose to do it different with the girls and I'm loving how it's turning out so far. Am I still making mistakes? Of course. But I am enjoying my journey with the girls so much more with the way I've changed things, the way that we're doing things differently. It's so much more empowering. I love seeing who they're becoming and I'm really proud of them. Because the truth is that when we go places, my kids always make me proud. They're always respectful, they're always kind, and they always are totally themselves. And those, to me, are signs that what we're doing is really working for them. And while I appreciate the words of wisdom and the advice from all the kids that are watching, Em and I need to make a lot of these decisions on our own for our kids, for their best interest, and because we're the ones here dealing with them. And because you guys don't see the whole story, I know it's really difficult for you to know for sure if we're doing it the way that works for you. All I know for sure is that we're doing it the way that works for us. And just like that, the barn is clean another day. And Sam has the little heater set up in our tack room. Molly's loving it. <laughs> Oh, it actually feels so warm. You can see my breath. And it is and it is cold outside, but sitting in front of this heater is glorious. I'm so glad Sam does this for us. Okay, so we are ready. We're all ready. The barn is clean. The first horse is ready, and the farrier is late. The farrier is late, you guys. Do you think she forgot because it had to be redone? Oh, the kitty's here? Do you think she forgot us because we had to reschedule? Because she had to reschedule? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous that I brought my family down early again. The dogs are here, so he won't come. Somebody asked about the cat. He's still here, but he won't come to the barn right now when, because the dogs are here. When I looked out there, I didn't see honey. Yeah, she, she always hides window. behind somebody. It's probably, oh, here she comes. Well, I'm bringing her in and brushing her. So. All right, go ahead, bring her in and brush her. She's like, what are we doing now? Sophie's been working on here, not turning into us, and she's been doing fantastic. My camera is getting cold. Sam and Gabby went to get coffee and dun -da 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 for the first time, I think ever. We've got like a box of donuts for the first time in a long time. We're gonna share them with our farrier. Okay. I kept pushing it in the air and I 
hold on to it until it fell. All right, so we shared our donuts with our farrier, which will make farrier day so much better now that we can have coffee and donuts with the farrier. It'll make it more like exciting. Coffee. Okay, so tell them what happened to your your mini. Wait, let's sit in front of the heater. Whew. Oh my God, right here, so much water. Oh, I know, I'm so rising. cold. So this is the story, but first let me start it and then you finish it. So we're just standing there, minding our own business. Honey's getting her feet done. This is what, the fourth time that we've had her feet done? I don't know. So she gets her feet done regularly. Like she gets them done extra regularly because she gets work done to, to help her stifles. Extra work done to, to help her stifles. So she's gone to the point now where she understands what the farrier means and Wait, if she likes it or not. Okay. So anyways, our farrier's doing the mini and uh, honey and she's not really loving it this time. Like she wasn't bad. She wasn't pulling her feet out really. She was like <laughs> just basically fidgeting a bit. She was fidgeting a bit. And then all of a sudden, what did she do? She flops. She laid down. <laughs> Mid farrier. She's like, I don't, I'm don't, not doing this anymore. And she lays down. None of us expected it. The farrier's just standing there. Sophie's holding the lead rope. She doesn't fit the cross ties yet. And we're all just standing there. And we look at her and she's just laying on the ground. <laughs> and we all just started laughing. Like we just started laughing so hard. And every time our farrier comes here she's like she is the cutest thing and it's true she's so funny like she's <laughs> so funny clearly she can't just lay down when she doesn't want to do something but it was just so shocking we were just all standing there and all of a sudden poof she's laying down and the farrier's looking at her and we're all just like staring and then we just burst out laughing so hard anyway she was perfect after that <laughs> but it was funny Comment below if you've ever seen a horse that lays down when they don't want to do something. I've seen horses before, especially ponies, that just all of a sudden when they're being ridden will lay down and refuse to get up and refuse to work. I've seen horses that will refuse to move forward even. No. But oh my gosh, we just laughed so hard. We were all just standing there for like five minutes. Yeah, just laughing. And Sam and Gabby, Sam and Gabby were in here by the fire and they were just, and we were just laughing. They're like, what happened? All right, we are headed to the barn. Finally, it's been two weeks since Gabby's ridden. It's freezing rain, it's cold. I also washed my headband and it shrunk somehow. <laughs> so now it just keeps sliding up. But we aren't quitters, you guys. We are going to the barn and Gabby's gonna have the best darn lesson. And she's gonna probably be struggling <laughs> because it's been two whole weeks since she had a lesson. Probably a little more than two weeks. Two weeks in a day or something. But anyway, we're headed to the lesson barn. We flaked this afternoon. This dark, dreary weather always does me in. It always makes me feel like I don't want to do anything. So I sat in front of the fire and it snuggled and stayed warm and worked on TikToks and short videos for YouTube and tried to get all my like little bit, little extra stuff done. So that is finished and we are headed to the barn and I'm so excited to be able to get out even when it's raining. Obviously we didn't bring our horses because one, they just got their feet done, and two, it's freezing rain, so we wanted to be safe. Holy moly, it is icy out. But we're ready. All right, so Gabby's first ride back after holidays. Our horses all had holidays. Well, not our horses. I mean, our horses are on holiday. Hi. <laughs> but Gabby's riding Lily. I love her on Lily. Lily's like, yes. <laughs> back in business. Every barn that we've ever been to has given their horses winter holidays. And this barn had a two weeks holidays after Christmas, just after Christmas. So this is our first day back. And we're excited. Also, Gabby is thinking that she's probably not gonna drive Chino in to this barn again until the outdoor is open. She said that she doesn't enjoy riding him yeah. in the indoor. All right, we got a hat from Cowgirl Up With Green for Elizabeth. Where'd she go? Elizabeth! And she's riding Watcha. Watcha, Watcha. I love Sophie on Watcha. Oh, I hate Watcha. What? I love you on her. I love her. Last time I rode with her, she like two weeks ago, I rode Two weeks ago? Yeah, because I didn't ride because I was with my dad out of town, like in Toronto area. You get the hat? Yeah. Definitely. I miss giving you the hat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll re recreate. Okay, Shh. pretend pretend we didn't do that. It's still in my arms. Okay. okay. Elizabeth, we got a hat for you from Cowgirl up front with you. green. It's so cute. Thank you. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I love it. It's so warm and fluffy. 
Uh, we know that you like neutral colors. Yeah. So we picked that one for you. Oh, actually, it looks does really it look cute. Want to see? I can't see myself. Oh, it does. I know. It matches your I outfit like perfect. Well, I know. You. It's so nice. You're welcome. <gasps> I got it on camera, too. So that time when you're looking in every drawer to find the brushes, and there's like literally no brushes, and, and, then, you, and then the one in the middle. So obviously, it's the short kids that put them all okay, in there. Oh, oh my gosh, I just broke it. <laughs> It's a, it's a main brush. No, it's not. Yeah, I. Is it this? Here, that found okay. It. Good job, good job, Elizabeth. It's Gabby and Elizabeth today. Oh, I love that you're keeping her dry. Drying her neck. She's such a nice girl, huh, Lily? Hi. She's asking me if I have treats. You better believe I have treats. You're welcome. I take treats everywhere I go. I literally take treats every single place I go. Always, always have them in my pocket because, what if we go someplace and there's a horse and it needs a treat? Oh, give me a treat. I just gave her a treat. Oh great, Gabby and, and, and Elizabeth are gonna die because the wow. horses are eating treats. One time we fed Gracie before a lesson. That wasn't good. Hey, Elizabeth, teach us. Tell us what you do when you need to save a snap. Just wait, for all of you older people like me, Snapchat, if you save, like if you take a screenshot of something that somebody sent to you, it tells the yep. person that you took a screenshot. So say a boy messages you and it's something like you want to keep forever, <laughs> but you yeah, don't yeah, want him to know, part. but yeah. you don't want him to know that you took a screenshot. What do you do? So first, you FaceTime your friend because you know something's gonna happen. <laughs> and then when he says something, you take the snap and then you, because you know in like the corner when you face, well, you, you don't have an iPhone, but on iPhones, like when you go to your home screen and you FaceTime with someone, there's like, they like say in the corner and then you flip it to a mirror and you get your friend to sc screenshot it for you. So, and they send it to you. That's so, kind of screenshots so, of her uh, uh, crash. <laughs> So in case you missed that, I scrolled she camera puts before. the camera, she puts her phone up against a mirror and then she gets a friend to use her own phone and screenshot the picture of the mirror <laughs> so and then that's how you save a screenshot on Snapchat. I sound like a crazy person. Like <laughs> no, I think everybody does that. I forget and I just screenshot it and then people say, oh, you screenshotted that and I'm like, crap. Yeah, I hate how it notifies them. I, I know. Screenshot it. It's like, because if you send something into chat. How am I gonna screenshot it? Oh yeah, I just flip it around the corner. <laughs> That's funny though. You learned like teenagers teach you everything. And before, because before there was a thing you could just remix the snap and then screenshot it, and it wouldn't tell them. But then Snapchat found out, so they updated it, so it would tell them. So how'd you so find that one out? So because my friend screenshotted someone's thing and it told her she tried to do that, and then um. Oh yeah, then you can also make it a sticker. Remix it, make it a sticker thing. Like you can draw it and make it a sticker or you can just get your friend a screenshot. Of it. Okay, so I have no idea how to do any of those things. I believe in just I getting somebody else to. Okay, you need two you phones. Phone. You. Okay, but so what if you have two phones? If you had two phones, just take a picture on it. You could or just if you have an iPad, just take a picture on your iPad. Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?